YouTube family, I hope that everyone is having a wonderful day. I am here because I started a new process at the beginning of this year of something that I wanted to do and it has been working very, very well for me. And I wanted to share it with my followers because I feel like it is so important that more women know about this um, and more women are implementing this in their life. So one of the things that I thrive myself on is focusing on the positive in my life. Every year, I pick a word that I would like to live by, a word that I would like to focus on for the year ahead. Last year, my word was optimism. Growing up, I was always, I would call myself a realist. Most people would call me a pessimist. And I would say, no, I look at the real outcome of the situation or the reality of what could happen. But most of the time, to be honest, it was pretty negative. And so what I found is that I would think a lot of negative things and therefore I would attract a lot of negative things. And the reason, I don't believe in the law of attraction or things like that, but the reason I believe that I was attracting negative things is because I think subconsciously I was looking for negativity. I was looking for negative things. Whether I recognized it or not, whether I was aware of it or not, that's what I, was happening and that's what I was looking for. And so because of that, I feel like I got consumed with a lot of bad things instead of positive things. And so I decided that I wanted to start to focus on more positive things. So this year, or last year, I'm sorry, I published a journal, and in the journal, it is called The Gift of Gratitude. And in this journal, we talk about how you can focus on gratitude, how you can focus on the positive things that are happening in your life. So if you look behind me, you can see The Gift of Gratitude. I'll grab it briefly. So with The Gift of Gratitude, um, we you journal every single day. The premise is that you're supposed to focus on all the positive things that are in your life. And there's quotes in here and... Um, different writing prompts and things like that so you can focus on really just learning to hone in and be grateful for the things that are happening in your life. Now as women it's easy to focus on the things that are going wrong. You start off the day on a good foot but then your kid acts a hot mess at daycare drop off or you wake up in the morning and you're excited and your hubby forgot to wash the dishes that you asked him to wash last night. Um, and so you get consumed in all the things that are bad. Well this year I challenged myself to make a gratitude jar. So in addition to me journaling, and I will share the link for those of you that are interested in this, interested in the journal, I'll share it below. Um, in addition to me doing the gratitude journal, I wanted to really hone in and focus on focusing on gratitude, hone in on focusing on focusing. Silly, but you guys get it. Um, and so what I do is at the end of every single week, I just started it, so you'll notice my jar is really empty so far. But at the end of every single week, I am po posting in one thing that I am grateful for, something that happened really, really well. Just like with my small group or my tribe, we do weekly wins and we identify the wins that we had for the week. It's the same idea. And so the goal of this jar is that at the end of the year or even at the end of the month, I can pull out some things that really were wins because it's really easy to say, man, all these things went wrong. All these, I didn't accomplish this. I didn't accomplish that. But in reality, there's all these things that truly went well when you can focus. So I'll give you an example. I hate cooking with a passion. For those of you that know me, you probably hear me talk about that a lot. But I wanted to try a vegan recipe. I've been trying to be more health conscious. I'm not a vegan, but I wanted to be more health conscious of the things that I'm ingesting, the food that I'm eating, so on and so forth. So I wanted to try a vegan um, Mexican restaurant, or I'm sorry, vegan res recipe of Mexican food. And I tried it, and it was wonderful. I made sour cream from scratch, um, but it was vegan sour cream. I tried different kind of cheese, um, different tortillas. Um, it was just amazing. Um, and so while that may not be a huge win, no, I didn't win the lottery. No, I didn't finish a book that I've been working on. No, I didn't finish a dissertation or no, I didn't buy the house or save all the money. I didn't lose all the weight. That was one small step, but a huge leap. For me and so I placed that just prior to this video I wrote that up and I placed that in here so later this year when I'm like reflecting on the fact that I hate cooking still because <laughs> there's a good likelihood I will I'll just be able to politely pull this out and say wow I remember that day I did that and that may encourage me that may inspire me to keep trying who knows so my challenge to you today is to start to think of the things that you are grateful for and the wins that you have had Start to really hone in on all the things that are happening that are positive in your life. It is so easy to focus on negative thoughts. Our brains are even wired for it. Scientists say for every one positive thought, we have three negative thoughts. So we're 
always thinking, we're always leaning more towards the negative side. And I want to challenge you to do something different. I want to challenge you to think positive, to think of those wins, to think of those things that you're grateful for. So that means that you have to really order this, this um, journal to start showing your gratitude, do it. If it means that you are going to fill out a gratitude jar and you're going to start writing the things that you're grateful for, the wins that you had in here, do that. If you want to do both, even better. I've noticed that in doing both, it's really changed. I, I told you I just started about a couple of, couple of weeks ago. But in doing both, it has really changed my perspective on a lot of things. It has allowed me to feel more positive. It has allowed me to feel more encouraged and more inspired. And it has really manifested within my business and my clients' work as well. Because I'm really starting to focus on the positives in their life and being able to show those things and highlight those things for them as well. So... I was really excited to be able to share these two things with you because I feel like as women, as busy women, we need it because we're go, go, go. We're moving all quick and we're all over the place. And sometimes it really benefits us. It truly benefits us to slow down and just to reflect and process on the good things that are happening. So that is my challenge for you ladies today. I hope that you have a wonderful day. And as always, continue with clarity. Bye, guys. Talk to you soon.